Hey guys, so we are going to explore the new Hyper SD from ByteDance. Let's check it out if this is really another hype of AI models or if this is truly the Hyper Stable Diffusion AI model. As you can see in these demo videos they showed, you can draw a line in the paint area and it will generate a cat within a second based on your in-paint line and it will generate a shape or form with that combining with the text prompt which is a cat. As you can see, the pose is also following the in-paint areas that you can use with a line structure to instruct the pose of this. And this is the research paper of HyperSD. The pipeline up here is clearly showing it is using a very low step, which is one step in their examples here. And you can use four steps as well in these example images shown here with a comparison with the SDXL, SDX, LCM, and SDXL Lightning. Now clearly, they are getting more details with HyperSD low-step AI models like LCM and SDAX. Lightning are producing unfinished AI images, but using the HyperSD with no CFG and one step, you are able to create pretty much complete images of a character or an animal, or even it can be collaborated with other checkpoint models and using the HyperSD Lore models to run in low steps and create pretty much any style of image. So by clicking on the hugging face, you can see that here's the project page, the links that we just saw and the hugging face. You can download these AI models right now. Right here, we can see the list of files here for us using Comfy UI. We are going to download the Hyper SDX One Step Unit Comfy UI Safe Tensor Models files, and this is going to be using in the Comfy UI Checkpoints folder. It is a 6.94 gigabyte file size. Now you can also download the other LoRa's and the 10 gigabyte file size on UNet Safe Tensor files are for general other stable diffusion running UI systems like Automatic 1111 or other diffusion running systems that can be used for those files. In our case, we are good enough by using the Comfy UI versions. And the same strategy goes with SDXL Lightning. They have separate different steps of LoRa models. So 1-step, 2-step, 8-step, and the 4-step LoRa models for both SD1.5 and SDXL. It depends on your preference. You can download the higher step like the 8-step LoRa models and collaborate with other stable diffusion checkpoint models to run this. Now, clicking in this Comfy UI's subfolder, you can see there are other JSON files. This is the workflow demo's workflow for running HyperSD in Comfy UI. You can download all of this and try it out by yourself. Now, I will be using this one, the HyperSD One Step Unit workflow to demonstrate later in this video and clicking in the custom node. Here we see the hope the node Python files, which is the custom custom nodes that are running for HyperSD. Now you see this is a specified scheduler that is running in Comfy UI. Later on, we will need this. So loading into the Comfy UI, I have loaded up this workflow diagram from their hugging face. You can once again download in the Comfy UI folders. You can download one of these JSON files. For me, I'm running this one, the HyperSD One Step Workflow files. And you can see there is one red error custom node that we are required to download. So for downloading this, it is very simple. We can go to the Comfy UI Manager and you see this one, this sampler custom. So actually, we are not using the normal case sampler using this type of HyperSD workflow. First, we have to download the custom node from the Comfy UI Manager. We click the Missing Custom Node button and we can see this Missing Custom Node is available to download within the manager itself. So we don't need to do a command prompt, download it manually. We can just click the install and once it finishes, we will restart the Comfy UI. Clicking into this custom node's GitHub page, we see this is the same Python code that is implemented in the hugging face as well. Again, let's check it out one more time. This note.py file is the same one as what we just downloaded from the GitHub. 
So we click the restart button once it finishes downloading and we will have no problems running that. So wait for the boot up and so far I see this is no problems. The command prompt doesn't put any error message and there you go. The Hyper SD One Step U Netscope Scheduler is appearing normally in the workflow diagram right now. So this is running normally and the installation was successful. The only setting in this custom node is how many steps you are going to use with the HyperSD XL checkpoint models. So in here, by default, it is one step. We are going to again use just one step to generate because that is the unique selling point of these HyperSD models. They are able to generate images within one step. Let's try it out again. We are selecting this HyperSD UNET Comfy UI checkpoint model and you are going to locate these files in the models checkpoints folder in your Comfy UI. Again, go to models and checkpoints and locate the files in here. Then you are ready to go. Once you select the LoRa checkpoints with the HyperSD XL, again, you can check out the yellow note in here that shows the reference of instructions on how to use that. Normally, we are running using one step for inference, and it will require this HyperSD one step unit scheduler. So we did all of that already. Let's click run and see. The text prompt is very simple a dog. And we showed a dog pretty complete. Let's make this as a preview image so we don't need to save all these demo images here and run one more time. There's another style of dog. So basically, this is very close to, well, not really a realism style checkpoint. It can be other, many other art styles it can appear, but by default, without any specific text prompt, it will just generate some kind of like, it feels like the juggernaut style checkpoint graphics in the result. So let's try other things like futuristic cities. And there you go. We are using one step. So even if I just click the generate button, it finishes the image generation already. It looks kind of okay, not very detailed because you are using one step for the generation. So you don't expect it to be very detailed using one step. Let me add more text prompts. Like for example, in this one using a human character. So I write a girl sitting on a branch in the park of Hong Kong Central and it shows up the background really did follow the reference by what I did in the text prompt. But so far, I generate a few more times. I see that for generating human characters in the image, it's kind of not complete. Like, I switch to other backgrounds as well. You see, the hands and the legs are still not completely generating because maybe it's just one step in the sampling step settings. So it causes this kind of incomplete generation image here. Maybe we can try out like higher sampling steps. Then that will be improving that. In the sampler custom, it connects to the Hyper SDXL one step scheduler. In the scheduler, we are selecting one step and the case sampler selects it is using the LCM sampling method. So it's very interesting that this is actually based on the LCM architecture to build these Hyper SD AI models. So there are basically four components combining together to run compared with a traditional or a normal stable diffusion workflow, the LoRa checkpoints, the case sampler selecting running LCM, and the Hyper SD XL scheduler and the sampler custom. We are going to try out these four custom nodes and run the other method using the LoRa of the HyperSD. I have downloaded the HyperSD LoRa for SD 1.5 and SDXL. Now, again, we are going to use this one, the Nestep LoRa workflow that is downloaded in their hugging face. And I got those two LoRa models files. That is also one step I want to test out, like how far it can go using one step LoRa rather than using four steps or eight step LoRa. Again, put that in your models folder and locate it in the LoRa subfolder that you can paste those two AI LoRa models files in here. There you go. You are very simple, basic to download the models and put those into the folders and you can use them right away. Again, I have loaded this workflow using the HyperSD LoRa. 
in this example, let's try to use the HyperSD 1.5 LoRa, and you can collaborate with that one with the other normal stable diffusion checkpoints. In my case, let me try to use the SD 1.5 Dragonaut checkpoint model, and the model's output connects to the LoRa models. In this case, we are using the HyperSD 1.5 one-step LoRa models. And of course, the clip tags for positive and negative are doing the same as normal. And we can use the K-sampler. As you are aware, if we are using the LoRa models for HyperSD, we can use the K-sampler. Let's generate a cat and it looks pretty fast and very normal. A normal cat doesn't break anything. Let's set the sampling step down to 1. And let's see now, it is fast, of course, it is really fast because it's just one step sampling. But even if we use one step sampling and I generate a few more cat photos here, it's still remaining a cat. The image does not break or deform the cat faces or the body part. So let's try out the other checkpoint models. This time I'm going to try out the SDXL versions of this one and it's still working fine. And this is another style of cat. The background is white and yeah, like one step Laura. It looks good. So let's try this with animate diff. I have tried out this workflow previously, the morphing animated if workflow that I have discussed in the previous videos. You can check out those videos to go through the details of this workflow. Let's copy these three special settings for the HyperSD and for the text to image. We are going to use the HyperSD checkpoint models and connect that with the sampler custom node and output these latent image data to the normal VAE decode. And let's try out this one, the HyperSD XL one step checkpoint models. Again, you have to connect the other connections for the conditions for that. And there you go, we got the Lightning City's nighttime view with some neon night styles. We got these four images from the HyperSD XL checkpoint. And then this workflow is going to pass those data into the animate diff and start running in the case sampler. In the case sampler here, it's pretty fast. It is running using the anime LCM. So it looks like they are working well with anime LCM with the HyperSD. Because HyperSD, as I saw the hints from their workflow, is that they are using the LCM as a scheduler. So maybe that is going to be compatible with any LCM models or LoRa models or even the animate diff motions models that are built on LCM. You have to be aware that using this workflow, the QR monster code, is based on SD 1.5. So the below part, the checkpoint models must be selected by SD 1.5. This is the result of the night urban city neon punk lightning styles. And it looks smooth, very smooth. It doesn't do any deforming and the styles are very consistent following the four images. So we got the landscape view again and let's try another view. Let's try the mountain view this time, the lightning mountain view with raining and see, maybe the first few times it is not generating a good image. Maybe we have to try a few more times, but look at this one. It's very much like a cloudy landscape view of a mountain. It's not about the quality of the image, but it just generates the cloudy view of this. Maybe this is not a good example for showing in the animations. So I will try to generate one more time again with the mountain landscape view. Because look at this one, a lot of clouds on the sky and it's kind of having too many noises, pixel noises in the generated result. So yeah, we can try without less cloudy on the sky and try a more dynamic view of the image. But so far, the Animate LCM working well with the HyperSD looks like they are the same architecture using the LCM method to build these AI models. So there you go. We might consider using this one, the one-step generation, to try out with other animative AI videos. Here's another image I have generated using the HyperSD XL, and I have set the sampling step a little bit higher, four steps. So let it, you know, enrich enhancing the image with more colors and more details, hopefully, but it looks like it is not really stable right now. Using four steps still has a lot of noise. 
even with more color, but we can try to enhance that. Let's see what will become on the next one, so that even the upscaler, it looks consistent styles, but there's a lot of noise on the pixels. Maybe we need to set up a higher sampling step for that, so it will be clearer. And the final FIV Dios interpreter is still not clear. So let's try that step 8 in the Hyper S DXL scheduler. We set 8 steps, and we will see if there's any better chance. The four images are pretty clear right now, and as you can see, Wow, even the first sampling from Animate Diff, it looks way better compared with the previous one. And here's the generated result of this 8-step result. And that is the first sampling. Obviously, it looks way better than the previous 4-step result. And then this is the latent upscale exam output videos of these generations. And then this is the upscaler using the model upscaler to enhance this. It got even clearer and the resolution is even better. You see the water, the reflection of the water is happening. And then we have the frame VFI interpreter to enhance the motion smoothness. And wow, this is even better than one step or four steps right now. The speed of generation within different Hyper SD is almost the same. It's just within one second. But the quality using eight steps in the checkpoint model scheduler is way better right now. So throughout the test from here, I find out that you can use the Hyper SDXL as the checkpoint models and set the scheduler to 8 steps and you get pretty decent images for the animative sampling and that is improving a lot for low step fast generations animations using Animate LCM and it combines the Animate LCM motions model and it can generate good results with this. So try out this workflow or the videos to videos workflow and I will try out the videos to videos workflow in upcoming YouTube shorts. I will see you in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.